Hello everyone, today we are going to do a little desk setup. If you guys have not seen on my Instagram stories, I did a little desk setup. Recently I just got an ultra wide, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit. So this is my desk. If you haven't seen the apartment tour, make sure to check that out, but we do have an uplift desk right over here. It is a standing desk and on this desk, it actually is an L shape desk so that's why I can fit this much real estate on my desk so most people might be thinking this is a little bit extra got my laptop over here we're gonna go from right to left in this little desk setup over here so this here is my actual personal laptop and then I have my work laptop right over here so everything is hooked up through an actual docking station I use this little wire it's a USB and it goes into the docking station I know it's like a lot of freaking wires there but it actually hooks up a lot to everything the only thing that is not included in the docking station is really my ultra wide just because it's pretty expansive it can't really be supported by the docking station so i have a little thunderbolt into display port into the actual monitor and over here i have like a little uh <laughs> external hard drive i really most really work on everything on here i barely have anything on my actual laptop other than programs and then my work laptop I use the same exact wire and because I didn't really want to kind of move two wires at the same time and I can actually hook up a display port directly into my laptop so the funny thing is like actually this particular laptop I'm going to be replacing at least like the PC replacement date at Accenture is actually gonna be on Monday so Next time I might not even be having this and actually I'm just gonna pan out here because you just saw that pop up So I do have a little charging station for my Apple watch and then I also do have something here for airpods I don't actually use the airpods to be honest. It's really mostly Addison's airpods But I use it sometimes for whenever I need to record but now actually it's pretty much useless because I just recently got this new headset if you look at this Do you think this looks like a headset? It doesn't really look like one, right? So it's actually something that's bone conduction. How it works is that these little pads, they actually are on the bone of your ear. So you're not actually putting anything in your ear. And this whole thing actually comes down like that. And that's like for speaking, for audio. So I mostly use this for work and for whenever I want to kind of listen to things without using my speakers. But I'll be showing you a little clip over here of how I actually wear it. This is how it's like. I have my little bone conduction, aftershocks, open comm headset. So whenever I want to just use it for earphones, this is how it is used. So it goes on to this part on this bone, not in the ear. And then this is when I want to use it on the actual headset. So I use this for work. So this is the ultra wide. This, I mean... I'm actually using wide angle lenses right now, so it might even look longer here, more wide. Do you not see this beautiful timeline? Like, oh, this could cut so much time. I'm just scrolling. Gives me no excuse not to work, not to edit. I was the one that got her into ultra wide. I got it first, and she's just like, wow, this wow. looks amazing. I wow. want one now, but cheaper. So let's show you an example of a podcast episode. This is actually one of the main reasons why I really liked it is because of the fact that these podcast episodes are long. They're like sometimes an hour long. Like, look at that. Doing that on a tiny little laptop is crazy. So when I start off of editing, think about it in a little laptop like this. This is how much my monitor actually has. So, <laughs> and I like to kind of get in there, get in dirty and kind of cut in everything. So each time I literally have to move it and then move it and then move it. Here, I can edit all the way from here down to here. And that's only one minute, okay? So one minute could quickly go through and I have to do this for every single minute of this episode. So now I can actually stretch this out and do a lot more on the sequence. So as you can see, there's like so many tracks on here. I actually color code everything just to make sure I have everything correctly edited and I'm not accidentally editing a different clip, but that's kind of why I have it set up the way it is. And if you guys haven't seen the video, make sure to check out my video on Natalie. Behind the scenes, I'm not really gonna show all the wires. I'm just gonna really show you what I'm doing here. There's actual speakers here, which 
they're all from Addison. <laughs> Thank you. And then over here I have a little USB hub that hooks up to a lot of things, mostly to charge. I have this to really charge a lot of my backup chargers for my camera. And then I have a, lo a large external charger. Honestly, that's pretty much it when it comes to this section. I do have my keyboard, which is Bluetooth. So you can see over here, it does connect to three different things. So I mostly have this to hooked up. So the very first one that it's blinking right now in green, that one is actually hooked up directly into the docking station. So whenever I move that wire from laptop to laptop, it automatically, automatically hooks up. The same exact thing happens to the mouse. It is on the very first one over here. I use that as well to hook up directly into the docking station. So I don't have to kind of switch through Bluetooth, but I could actually, if I want to move from one to the other, but then it means I have to actually switch it manually each time I go onto a different computer. So I wanted to just stick with the docking station and I have this, it's been, it's old, but handy dandy. Oh, hello, it's Capper. Handy dandy cat mouse pad found on Amazon. All the links are down below, by the way. I highly recommend using a docking station if you want to do all of this within a laptop. So PC, completely different when you have a desktop PC, but for laptops and for docking stations, if you have more than one laptop or if you just don't have that much, that many ports, it's perfect for you. So now I have my whole content creation area. So I actually have like a little light studio, I just only have one here. But for now, I this is enough for just like whenever I have like shooting here. And I have my Canon M50 right over here. I usually have it actually on like a stand on here. So it's actually craned and static onto my desk. So whenever I go in standing mode, which is actually how I film majority of my videos, a lot of my podcast episodes there are in sitting. Ah! Yeah, sometimes when you have a standing desk, it happens like that with an umbrella. So this is the content creation studio. And you probably notice in a lot of my videos of this backdrop. So that's why I have it positioned right over here in this awkward section, right with this monitor. So I do have a Canon M50. I have a Rode Video Micro NTG. So that is directly hooked up to this Canon. And actually I also do have it sometimes hooked up to the computer to charge. And it also can act as another mic. So below that I have the webcam. So whenever I actually do my videos for podcast episodes, I record externally on my camera, but the webcam itself is actually what I use majority of the time in my Zoom calls. So sometimes I do like recorded Zoom calls and I don't really use this. Like for example, my career coaching, it just seems like extra work. I'll just stick with that. And this actually does light up with light. It does like a wider field of view, so it's not necessarily narrow. So I do have this other monitor. You might already think like, why do you want another monitor? And mostly I'm doing this for screen sharing purposes and whenever I'm doing like a little content creation because Honestly, if I could, I would really want to use this monitor. But like, let's say for example, over here, when I do my Zoom calls, I do my Zoom calls over here, and then it is directly under this. So I want to make sure to actually be aligned with that. Otherwise, if I have it here the whole time, then it will be difficult. And if I have it here, the backdrop doesn't work anymore. So the backdrop came before I did all this. I was like, you know what? The best way to do it is actually have it directly in front of the backdrop. So that's how I mostly have this monitor set up. It's mostly for content creation, mostly for calls. So that way, when this goes that way, they get to see the actual backdrop in the background. Otherwise, it'll just be a little bit weird. And that's also why my camera's directly above it. So that way I get almost exactly the same view. When I do look up here, the camera gets to see me look up there. So it's actually like a pretty nice setup because I do my podcast episodes on this monitor and my webcam. And I also do use my Blue Yeti here. So this is hooked up directly into my computer. Actually, this is directly hooked up into my USB hub here. So almost everything, literally everything is hooked up into that little docking station all the way back there. So all of this is powered by one little, wild little, little USB cord, which is really great because everything is used, everything is possible within just one plug into a laptop. So that is mostly the setup over here. So just to recap, have my laptop. I have a laptop stand to actually air out as well. The one I'm using is always the one on top and the one on below is the one that I'm not using. So each time when I do want to switch, I just swap them out. 
And then I do have well, actually like part of the uplift desk comes with this over here, which is additional plugs. So I just plug in everything that's in my setup. So these two lights that you see, there's like the neon cat over here and then my pixie light, it's all set up onto that one little plug. And it's actually hooked up to this one right here. The top one is all hooked up to this one switch. Let me walk over there. There's like some delay, I don't know why, but it works. So what you have here is you have my whole setup here. And then let's just go into a little bit more of the decor. Got my little cute fake plant. <laughs> then I have a little Polaroid of Don and Sora. This was taken before Charlotte came into the picture. I got my little mirror. So I mostly use this for content creation. So like, for example, getting ready for a Zoom call, getting ready for a video. I can kind of put on my makeup here. Mostly I just put on my lipstick just in case it gets smeared. And then I just kind of use this to make sure I look good. So this is my content calendar. To be honest, it's been changing so much, so it's pretty messy. If you want to see the video of how I actually organize my content calendar, check it out in the link above. So then over here is actually a friend gave me this as a gift, Michelle. So she gave me that as a little Christmas gift. And then this little desk tray organizer came with the uplift desk as like a little gift. So I kind of use it kind of organizing a little thing here and there. So all my pens some candles, uh, my passport, my post-its and Actually, these are Polaroids from my past foster cats. So we got Light Fury over here and we have Charlotte over here. So I, Charlotte, I already ended up adopting her. So she's welcome to the family. And then over here, my lipsticks, which I mostly use to kind of put it on for my podcast episodes using that mirror. And then under this, I have a big, big notebook to use anything that I want to kind of draw out, like either like outlines, designs, planning, anything at all. A lot of my real estate journey process planning was all in here. If it wasn't in digital, it was in here. And I do have a little coaster. So I usually have my little water bottle in here and my PCT notepad and then another pen, which is actually the same friend who gave me this actually gave me this as well. So it's kind of like my little note taking pad. If I have any quick notes I need to take or take anything that I need to do for client calls below. <laughs> not really the best honestly but I actually do have this mostly to keep a blouse in there so whenever I work from home and I know there's a video call I just literally put that on I do have a secret lab chair which honestly at first Addison got this I mean no Addison got that one over there I got I got that for his birthday two years ago and I was like oh that's comfortable like you know what if I know this is a tried and true chair I might as well get it instead of like another office chair that I don't even like but it's nice that there's a pillow here which is really great because a lot of the office chairs I know stop right below the neck and this gives me a lot of neck support so whenever I edit videos it is perfect so let's go into the actual setup in this setup I have floating shelves and then I put up like a little notebook that my friend made the same friend who made actually who gave me those post-its and those pens and then we just basically made a little collage of ourselves Three little stuffed animals, which I thought was really cute. Honestly, Sora just loves to come up here and just take them. I'm like, <laughs> why? So then I got a little another fake plant, just add some green. And then this Gudetama light bulb, which actually we got at the Gudetama cafe in Japan. So we're just like really excited. It actually lights up like, what? It lights up. It's like not as cool right now, but really if you put liquids in there, it makes the liquid kind of shine. And I got these little pixie lights from a long time ago. Honestly, this started out when I was in college and then all I did was just use the clothespin that actually comes with it and put in all these little cute purikura back from when I was in Japan. And then I got these fake plants just to add some green and just, it's, it's all fake. All the plants in my apartment are fake because we just can't handle it. And a lot of the plants are actually toxic for cats as well. And <laughs> the same friend got me this little welcome to my crib thing. I honestly did not know where to put it. So I just put it here. And Addison gave me this for Valentine's Day in 2021. So it's actually a real golden rose. It's a real rose plated in gold. So to be honest, we were just like, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know. And then he just gave me that. It was like so pretty, it's so pretty. There's even like a little certificate of authenticity. And then my friend Sally, she actually gave me this like little puzzle piece music box. And it's just so pretty because it's a music box. So if you haven't seen my New York City 
apartment tour video. I, I actually kind of use it there. I don't want to touch it right now because just, you know, it's, it's, it's a puzzle piece. I don't want it to break. And I got a little Eevee. Let me know like what's your favorite Pokemon. Put it down in the comments down below. But honestly, that is all I really have for the desk setup. We already shown you the actual standing desk. So I want to go to put it down below. Do you think this is excessive? To be honest, I got the ultra wide, which is the mono price dark matter 49 inch monitor, mostly for video editing, Excel, and just in general productivity and, and multitasking. But a lot of what I have is mostly geared towards content creation. And honestly, if you guys have any recommendations about wire management, let me know because a lot of the wire management, <laughs> I do have a lot of wires and it's not something I can hide. Like, Addison's setup is behind his desk or under his desk is because he has a PC or a lot of his wires are under his like cable management box is under but for me a lot of it is above so like charging things or using things or all these wires that are outside they're not kind of concentrated in one area under my desk though I've concentrated a lot of the wires and kind of use cable ties on them but above my desk it's pretty hard and I know this is definitely possible I think like some people have even just kind of use boxes on that but i think like because i use too much stuff i think to be honest i'm like constantly plugging in everything i probably don't even need to use everything probably just need two to three wires but whenever i have my content creation studio like it's so difficult because i have my usb from my blue yeti hooked up into the docking station in a usb hub so the usb hub is going to have even more usb ports that my docking station doesn't have then i have my actual whatever's connected to my mouse and to my keyboard and then i also have my camera and i have to like charge my cameras like microphone and i have to do the webcam and my monitors the monitors are a lot of it is out of sight out of mind but when you look at below the actual monitors that's where you can see all the madness like let me flip this back look at that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so in general that is my setup i really like it it is something that is mostly a work productive office a content creation studio and also like a nice backdrop for whenever i film videos the one downside which i'm actually going to get shades in this office is like do you see this light Ugh. and like every day around like five something or so the sun shines at this exact angle that overflows this entire area we just recently got shades in the condo and the office was the only place where we didn't consider it because we're like yeah you know like we wouldn't want the sunlight don't we and then i was like oh, big mistake we would want it so uh luckily we are ordering it so hopefully it comes soon but then we can avoid all these issues but thank you so much for watching my desk setup. A lot of you guys on Instagram have actually requested one. So this will kind of explain everything. All the links are down below. Most of them are affiliate links. So anything helps if you can actually click on, if you are interested in purchasing them, definitely purchase them. And I get a little small commission at no extra cost for you. So thank you so much and see you guys next time. Bye.